is environmental racism being practiced throughout the country. This particular clip from uh, Al Sharpton's show is going to point out another Flint, Michigan water crisis type uh, town, but this time instead of uh, just the water, and it may not be the water so much necessarily, it's the actual ground, the land, the, the ground that people are walking on, the ground that children are playing on, playing in. And my problem is that I believe that the powers that be knew about this. I'm going to play the entire clip and I'll make my commentary afterwards. 250 miles away from Flint, Michigan, we're seeing another shocking example of environmental injustice that may have affected generations of kids. It's happening in East Chicago, Indiana. An entire low-income housing complex is being vacated and then demolished. And an elementary school is being emptied. Its kids moved out, all because of dangerously high levels of lead and arson. EPA signs surround the homes in the West Calumet complex in East Chicago, warning residents do not play in the dirt or around the mulch. The city notified residents at West Calumet, nearly 700 of them children, that they should move because of the lead contamination. For decades, the land was home to a lead facility. Elevated lead levels were discovered just as the EPA cleanup was to begin. For mothers here, their main priority is making sure their kids are safe. Two of Irving's children have tested positive for lead in their blood. Two-year-old Samira Allen plays like any other toddler, but beyond the giggles is a potentially serious problem. The amount of lead in her blood, according to this letter from the Indiana Health Department, 33 micrograms per deciliter. A dangerous level would be a five, and my child's result was a 33. That's scary. This neighborhood was built back in the 70s. Generations of kids have been raised there. And only now are we learning that the soil itself, literally the ground they walk on, is dangerous. Joining me now is Indiana State Senator Lonnie Randolph, who is helping to lead the community efforts to address this crisis. First of all, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Reverend. I appreciate it. Now, First, well, what is happening in the neighborhood right now? Right now, it's pretty much a chaotic situation. You've got residents confused. Uh, they're angry. They're upset. They don't understand what's happening. Uh, they don't understand how all of a sudden, overnight, something of this nature could occur to them. They're being uprooted in terms of the community that they've known for years for a dangerous um, uh, ground situation concerning contamination that uh, they never were aware of. And in fact, they're, they're beginning to speak out about the crisis on local news. Watch this. I Google it, and it said miscarriage is stillborn, vomiting, diarrhea, and I've been going through all of that. I also just lost my baby. And then the young lady across the street, she was pregnant, had a full term, and she came out, the baby came out of stillborn. Thinking about her um, potentially developing like ADD or something, and causing her to fall behind in school and not keep up. It's not fair. We should have been notified. What kind of toll is this taking on residents there in the community, Senator? You know, a real serious one in terms of not just health, but emotionally and mentally as well. Uh, a lot of the families throughout that community have been suffering different illnesses, like the kids going to school, not performing that the way that parents expect them to do, in terms of kids getting colds, flus, <coughs> cancer situations, people dying, and they never knew what happened, what the problem was, and now, all of a sudden, because of this net, the lead, lead contamination in the ground, now they're starting to realize maybe it's related to the contamination that's going on right now. And yeah, so, th th that's what I want to question, because the housing complex was built in 1972. So why are residents just learning about this now, Senator? That's a good question, and that's, what, and that's the, 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 the shocking thing about this whole matter. I just discovered 
the, the extent of everything about three weeks ago. I got a phone call from the residents that in the West Calumet section indicating they got a letter from the local mayor indicating that they have to evacuate and relocate the property within 90 days. When was this letter sent? About three weeks ago. Well, in, in 2010, Federal investigators studied the area and issued a report that said, quoting, I'm quoting the report, breathing the air, drinking tap water, or playing in soil around the USS lead site is not expected to harm people's health. Yet now they're going to demolish hundreds of homes. That's right. And, and, and that's the scary thing about this situation. There's been misinformation given to the people there, which is why so many residents are angry about what's going on, because they were never being forthfront in terms of telling them truthfully what's going on in the neighborhood. Now, all of a sudden, they're telling them it's dangerous. It could be, have an effect on your health. It could have an effect on your kids. Kids have been sick in the past. Now, all of a sudden, they've got to uproot a location that they've known as their home for years and go to another location and they got to do it within 90 days that's the deadline that they gave them and then they get a subsequent letter two weeks later after two or three days later after they got the notice of relocation that they're going to come in and demolish the location mm -hmm. and so something's happening before before anything like this develop of this drastic measure someone had to know something before now that's right well, we're, we're going we're gonna to keep digging. We're going to stay on this story, State Senator. Thank you for your leadership here. State Senator Lonnie Randolph, thank you for being with me this moment. Thank you for having me. All right. So, um, basically, the people that live here uh, and have their kids tested, they need to sue the federal government. Okay. Uh, the housing complex and the schools were built somewhere around 1972. Anytime they build a school, okay, at, at a minimum a school, but uh, any type of public housing, there are environmental impact studies done where they test the soil and everything else uh, for uh, potential dangers. So back then, somebody knew what was up. Now, were those reports doctored? Possibly, probably. Okay. So let's uh, uh, advance to 2010. The uh, ATSDR, and if you don't know what that stands for, it stands for the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. They turned around and issued a letter, which you saw in this particular clip, that said it was safe to live there. Okay, now unless the, there have been drastic changes in the acceptable amount of top toxic substances like lead, that was a lie. So now all of a sudden, uh, these people are being put into a position where they have to move out within 90 days, and which they should obviously because their kids are being exposed uh, to uh, lead. And I don't need to tell you what the uh, negative effects of lead are especially on you know developing children and then this whole area is going to be uh, demolished somebody knew what was going on okay somebody knew and possibly uh, somebody was getting ready to blow the whistle on this thing and that's why uh, all of these uh, letters are now coming out telling the people that they got to move all these notices don't let your kids play in the soil etc 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 so we need to stay on this but I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. We, we've had Flint. You know, now we have uh, you know East Chicago, Indiana, uh, Newark, uh, as far as their water is concerned. There are a lot more uh, places, cities, communities that are exposed to lead and other toxic chemicals that we just are not being told about. But you know, I hope that the people that uh, live in this community uh, can uh, get a lawyer and file a class action lawsuit against the federal government for misinforming them about the dangers that they were facing when they were uh, living in this area and sending their uh, children to the school in this area.